All right, Steve Elliott, it comes down to this. Uh, I live in Washington State in a small town, well, not too small, but it's called Kirkland. It's a suburb of Seattle in East King County. Now, proponents for years have said that marijuana, which is a medicinal herb, should stay illegal because it's a gateway drug. I'm waiting for it. Yes, a gateway drug. So, all right, because it's illegal, drug dealers who have the means to also solicit you bigger and nastier drugs, such as cocaine, heroin, uh, any kind of prescription drug, you name it, crystal meth, uh, uppers, downers, quaaludes, verbituates, whatever, all right, other more addictive and less, you know, they're more harmful, okay, because they're illegal, because they're illegal, marijuana's illegal, that's a gateway drug. They figure if you're going to start smoking marijuana, then your your inhibitions and your and your brain is not going to be, oh yeah, dude, I'll try some meth. Uh, and there is some there is some probably some logic behind that. I've given that, but look at it this way: if we legalize it, all right, if we legalize marijuana, everybody will have the opportunity to smoke it. Now, the only thing they need to do to protect the medical marijuana holders is that you can't tax medical marijuana. So if you're able to go out there and get a doctor to sign off and give you a card, which lets you go into the medical marijuana dispensaries, then you can't get taxed for that. It's just that simple. Now, if you're a recreational user and you want to go out and buy pot from a established grower or wherever, you know, the five and dime, AM, PM, whatever, and you want to ingest that in the, you know, I would say the boundaries of that would be basically the same as, like, your own home, all right? I don't want people smoking it in cars. I don't want people smoking it, you know, on a school school grounds. I don't want people smoking it out in public, okay? I don't need it at the clubs that I bounce at. I, if you want to smoke pot, smoke it at home. It's just that simple. Or going into an establishment, which in Washington State you cannot smoke indoors, so, you know, there goes your hookah farms, unless they're going to lift that ban altogether as well. But the fact is this, is that I've never met anybody in my personal life that has ever done anything drastically wrong, okay, that has been stoned. They don't drive cars. They're too lazy. They want to sit around and just eat food. Yeah, I can see a problem with that, but you know what? We're going to make more money off the sales of, like, you know, soda and chips and stuff like that that we can tax also. Plus, drive throughs I mean, Taco Bell is going to have to order a lot more tacos and get a lot more help to dispense those tacos. I can guarantee you that. Fast food is going to boom, all right? And there's big money in fast food. You know, not only are you going to get the tax dollars from all the marijuana, but look at all the fast food joints that are going to be much more profitable now that you have legalized marijuana. Me, personally, I don't subscribe to it. I've seen the effects on some of my friends. I've seen how an addicted person to marijuana, well, pseudo-addicted, they can put it down anytime they want. They just choose not to. But when they're always worried about where they're going to get their next score, and because it's illegal... You know, they're always having this nefarious kind of, like, relationship on the down low. But now they can, don't have to worry about that. They take it out of the drug dealer's hands and make it legal so that Ma and Pa Kettle down at the store, they can sell a, you know, pack of basically marijuana cigarettes to somebody over the age of 21, just like if you were to sell alcohol, and the guy can go home and smoke it. Great. Me, personally, I don't like the smell of it that sweet sticky bud smell you know and in Washington State I can guarantee you that we have probably the best weed you can get your hands on so everybody's going to be coming up here to smoke pot we're going to be like the Amsterdam of the United States which is good for our tourism I hope everybody else doesn't just jump on the bandwagon I think California and Oregon are probably pretty close to going I don't see Idaho doing it with the Republican base that they have but uh, personally, I think everybody should get on the bandwagon, let them smoke a little dope, let them be a little happy, and you know what? Protect the medical patients by just not having that taxed. That's it. Simple. And 
by legalizing it, you take it out of the gateway system of not having it to be like going to a drug dealer to buy your pot. Therefore, you're not going to be exposed to the heroin, the crack, the meth, the cocaine, uh, any opiates, over-the-counters. All that stuff's going to be just gone. So all of your pot offenders that you have right now, which there's quite a few of them in the state of Washington, they finally were smart enough to lower it down to a misdemeanor. But before that, there are guys that are serving prison time for having like a little bit over an ounce, and they're considered a dealer. It just blows my mind that you've destroyed somebody's life who wasn't really doing anything but just spreading a little weed around to everybody and... You know, hey, I only sell to my friends, or I only sell to this person, or I only do that. But now he's in jail for 20 years because he's considered a drug dealer. When he did nothing else but, you know, maybe he had a pipe and some pot that was over a certain weight. Um, he probably grew it in his bathroom. I mean, come on. The fact of the matter is, is that Washington State is a, is a very progressive state. We understand that there's going to be limitations to the human psyche. And if pot helps people, if pot helps people get through the day, fine. Now, there are going to be some people that are like, yeah, well, I don't want pot, pot, pot smokers working for me. So, therefore, they're going to have to write that in that they can still say, no, if you use marijuana on a daily basis, you're not going to be able to work at this job. It's just that simple. I mean... I don't think, you know, metro bus drivers should be able to smoke pot. I don't think school bus drivers should be able to smoke pot. There are going to be certain limitations to this rule. You know, just like you wouldn't show up to work drunk. Now, that being what it said, if a bus driver who stressed out because she just got done with a day of work and had 65 screaming kids on her bus wants to go home and burn a blunt and then go to bed, I'm all for it. But if she's sparking up before she gets on that bus just so she can cope with the 65 screaming assholes, that's a problem. So, all i got to say to people out there is that we do legalize this. Don't abuse it. Don't be stupid. Okay, we got enough drunk assholes out on the road. We don't need a bunch of people that can't process information because they're too stoned out of their gourd. Okay? It's just that simple. Me, personally, I don't subscribe to it. Don't like it. Never have. Never will. But to all my friends out there, I hope you're hope I hope that you know that you're probably going to pay more than you do for that you know nickel bag that you're carrying right now. Because when they tax the hell out of it, it's going to be just like cigarettes, and you can plan on an average smoker of of weed. They're going to be spending close to probably two hundred fifty to five hundred dollars a month on their pot habit, which is way more than they spend right now. Just uh, just food for thought. Anyway, peace out, Source Fed. If you need Washington news, you come to me, Big Nate. I'll give it to you. Freaky style.